Antonio Graceffo, this is Martial Arts Odyssey. Today we are in Laos, the People's Democratic Republic of Laos. And we're in Vientiane, the capital city. Now we're going to be learning Moi Lao, which is the Moi, the kickboxing art here in Lao. But first we're going to be doing some strength training. We're kicking it old school. This is my friend Gail. Gail, Gail, are you are you tired? Come on. Yeah, he's a pop. <laughs> he's a pop. Hey, this is Gail, he's 25 years old and Gail's gonna get me into shape. Okay, Gail, let's do it. Well, fighting is an excellent exercise. It tends to work the biceps and shoulders and back, but it seems to neglect the chest. So you need to cross train, and that's one of the reasons for getting in the gym. And here we're doing bench press, which is about the best chest exercise that there is. Oh, I hate working out. Alright, what's the next thing? You became a fighter because you like fighting, and not because you like going to the gym. It's one of the reasons that a lot of people don't cross train. Face it, this is what you'd rather be doing. You'd rather be kicking and working with your coach. There's a lot of cardio involved here, plus all the specific muscles, such as the kicking muscles and punching muscles. We still need to do our weight training. And one nice thing about weight training is it's extremely, extremely efficient. You can get in the gym for 25, 35 minutes, and that's enough. Boxing takes hours. Normally, I do five days of boxing and four days of weight training. I divide my body into uh, two sets of groups. One is back and shoulders and legs, and the other one is biceps, triceps, and chest. If I know I'm going to have to miss a day, then I'll do both sets of workouts in one day. You have to be a little bit far. Far away. Uh, don't kick quite hard, just on the belt. Gaussi. Gaussi. 90. 90. Gail weighs 90 kilos, the same as me. He's about the biggest play ocean I've ever seen. In other parts of Asia, you get some big guys, but not in Laos. This is a tricep exercise. The cool thing about training in Laos is that there's exactly one of everything. One gym and one Muay Thai stadium. Kip, the push kick. It's not a front snap kick. It's used for pushing your opponent away or for stomping into his abdomen or thigh. This video was made after a five or six month layoff. I hadn't been in a gym, I hadn't lifted weights, my muscles were so weak, and I'd been working in the jungle and not eating for months. This type of rowing machine can be used for uh, shoulders and back exercise. You can change the grip and position and then it can be used for biceps or even chest. Although this is actually a tricep exercise, it's saying that it can be used to increase the general size of your arms for bodybuilding. I don't always know what he's saying, but I'd rather listen to him instead of exercising. I got a, a pretty serious knee injury fighting a couple of years ago, so I'm very careful about what I do. One of the problems with uh, traveling like this, if I'm not in an, I, I really enjoy being in this type of gym, but if I'm not in an expensive gym, I can't do my legs because I really have to use machines, so I have to be really careful, so I don't do any squats or anything like that. Mm. When, 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 when he punches, I, yeah. I tip. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the same time on your 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 type. Mm. And the way to protect yourself when someone try to hurt, hurt you, okay. you use your 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 leg to protect yourself. Yes. See, because leg is longer than hand. Okay. Yeah. These guys stomp that kick in and really make it count. Do they have any ones? They don't have any ones. This is too much weight. Look at the size of this guy. 
He doesn't even look like he's from Asia. It's important to remember that you're lifting weights to cross train. Your focus is on your fighting. That is your sport. You're not a bodybuilder and you're not a power lifter. So don't get too caught up in trying to have big biceps, big arms, trying to look good. It's okay. not about how you look, it's not a contest, it's how you fight. If you're training about fitness, then remember your focus is fitness. Again, it doesn't matter. Don't try and look like the people in the magazines and the movies. Just try and look and feel good. Go for your personal best. <laughs> because if, and he said, if you tip like that, your, your toe will work. Yeah. So you gotta curl your toes back. I'm 41 years old. I have to protect myself, so don't let anyone ever push you into doing exercises you can't do, weights you can't push. Just tell them straight up, hey, I can't do this, I can't do that. In my case, I don't do any jumping, I don't do any skipping because I got knee injuries, and I don't lift weights on my legs because I have to protect my legs. I also know that for what I want to do, I never need to push more than 10, 15, or 20 kilos on an exercise. You will never see me with 300 pounds on a bench press. Yeah, normally for a lot of people, just only for two hours. Two hours? But for, yeah, but for foreigners, it has to be four hours. Why? Because the biology is different. Oh. Because a lot of people, maximum, he just can do gym only for two hours, maximum three hours, uh, but for in your five hours, maximum. Which one is easier to build muscle, the foreigner or Lao? Mm. Which one? Mm. Mm. Lao people is faster than foreigner because one one reason because of the short and the muscle is tight already. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. He's saying is the shorter person can build mats a lot faster than the taller person. Which is really true. Thanks for, for kickboxing. For Moy Lao, is it good to lift weights? Oh, uh, sure. Sure. But not really hard. Oh, you know, Just only hard. few side, not so much side, because it will be over for the muscle. Basically, every trainer I've talked to in every country tends to agree that we need to lift weights as part of our cross training for fighting, but we don't want to bulk up like a power lifter or bodybuilder. You want to do light, uh, light weights and a lot of repetitions and you want to avoid injuries at all costs. Your injuries should happen in the ring, not in the gym. Fat. Who has more fat, the mm. foreigner or the loud people? Yeah. Well, that <laughs> foreigner, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, ask him why. Uh -huh, I'm looking. Because there's different food. Different food. Mm. Because I'm um, foreigner, eat a lot of meat, like steak, beef, chicken, so that can make um, protein and also your fat. Um, pork, like oil. Pork, the oil, the fat. And the yeah, oil, yeah. yeah, makes you fat. Mm -hmm. What do Lao people eat? Lao people eat like um, vegetable, some meat, so it's not a lot of oil. Um, he said uh, to, be, to have a good look or to be a uh, good building, you have to train on the timetable mm -hmm. each day what you have to do and next day what you have to do. They have um, Four days per week and three days for relaxing. Train on a four day schedule, four days on, and you're going to have a total of three days off every week. And that's also what some other trainers have been telling me. And then in the past, we used to do five, six days. Now, most trainers tell me that's too much on the weights, especially if you're going to be boxing on top of that. So, just about four days a week in the gym should do it. <laughs> Don't say something? No. Mr. Anthony is so tired now. This is old school, man. This is Lao, and this is the hidden gym. 